Yeah, I'm uh, Christina Costa from uh, the Academic Development Unit, and um, I'm uh, I was a, a panel member at the, the Professional Conversations as part of the of the, the core module of the PG Cap Learning and Teaching in Higher Education, and uh, uh, so I'll be talking about how the Lego was used as part of the professional discussions and how useful I thought uh, that was. Um, I really really liked the way that that it was used because uh, every uh, every a participant used it in a very different way, which was interesting per se, um, and the fact that it kind of stretched their creativity because they didn't have a lot of time to, to, to prepare that, so it kind of uh, gave them a, um, a nice platform to express themselves in, in different ways. Uh, what I also uh, really liked about that was the use of metaphors that was used as part of, uh, of using the Lego. That, that was actually quite uh, an inter interesting way to, to express um, their learning and, and to kind of uh, uh, reflect about the way they're learning and, and, and try to kind of make it accessible to the to the ones that uh, they were trying to, to interview them as part of, uh, of that exercise. So I thought it was uh, really useful not only about uh, in, in the sense that it kind of um, uh, promoted their, their, their creative skills but it also uh, allowed them to think in different ways uh, using metaphors and stories uh, to uh, to discuss their learning. Okay. Uh, about the, the Lego, I, I think the, the Lego models were um, were quite important to, to start to, to kickstart the, their uh, uh, their discussion, the, their their kind of reflection, and how they introduce their their uh, their learning path uh, to that, and, and, and they also actually the quite uh, the, the journey, how they kind of. Uh, um, portrait the entire learning journey uh, throughout uh, the PGCAP module. So I thought it was uh, really um, important how they use that uh, as a platform uh, to recreate their learning 